You want long-term revenue in your online business, and so you consider Patreon or maybe YouTube memberships, and you're not quite sure whether those are the best for you. In this video, I'm gonna talk about why I, in my online businesses, choose not to use Patreon and not to use YouTube memberships and why I achieve the goal of recurring revenue in a different way and I would argue a better way, especially if you are in the type of online business where you sell digital products, courses, have a membership site, you offer coaching, consulting, things like that. Patreon, in my opinion, that business model works against your goals, not for them when it comes to growing your business and scaling your income. So I'm gonna talk about why I land where I land in this video, and if you agree or disagree, be sure to let me know in the comments what you think because Patreon might be right for you. I'm just gonna tell you what I have done in order to build my businesses to six figures and soon to be multiple six figures and beyond. My name's Lane, I like to help aspiring digital entrepreneurs to create and grow successful and growing passive income businesses. So if you're into that kind of thing, go to lanesebring.com slash super simple. You can pick up my free super simple guide to your first $500 online. It will just show you the steps that I took to build this type of business that I'm talking to you about right now. So go to lanesebring.com slash super simple, totally free, my gift to you. So let's talk about Patreon. When Patreon first came out, it was a very cool idea. I remember seeing it, this was long before I created anything online, long before I was a YouTuber, and I heard the founder of Patreon talk about the heart behind it, which was that in the old days, you had artists who would be funded by patrons, who would give them the tool, give them the means they needed in order to sustain their livelihoods so that they could create art. So. To give that a modern spin, he created Patreon to be that for modern day artists so that the people who consume their art, whether it be video, music, whatever, are able to support that art by supporting their livelihood. And if you spread this out over enough people with $1, $3 a month, $5 a month, that person can make a great living, it's not a whole lot for the individuals, and it's a win-win all the way around. And I will say for the type of YouTube channels where it's harder to monetize beyond just ads, Patreon can be an amazing thing. Because if you're making YouTube videos that just stand on themselves, they're just kind of like video essays, you put a lot of work into them, they're really well done, and you have a large audience, you might as well use Patreon or YouTube memberships where people can contribute to your work. That's totally fine. However, it doesn't work to, as much to your best interest if you have a business where you are also selling digital products. Like you're gonna sell online courses. Maybe you're gonna have a membership site where people pay a recurring amount of money every month and they get access to special things from you. If you use the Patreon model, essentially what you are teaching and training your audience to do and to think is to consider you as an artist, first of all, and for them to be the ones who are kind of contributing, tipping, donating to your work rather than getting real hard value in exchange for real hard value. In other words, you give them something of value, something that's transformative, a course that will teach them how to do something that they need to know how to do, a membership site that gives them access to you in a way that is going to be transformative as you're teaching the thing that you're teaching. And in exchange for that hard value, they are giving you real, actual, substantial money. If it's a course, maybe it's a few hundred dollars, maybe it's a couple thousand dollars. If it's a membership site, maybe it's $50 a month, maybe it's $100 a month. But your audience needs to view you and see you as the person and the authority that can show them, teach them, move them along the path of whatever they're trying to accomplish that's within your niche and that is worth more than a dollar, two dollars, three dollars as a tip or a contribution. Because in this exchange, you are not an artist, you are a service provider and they are using your services. So it's a totally different exchange. 
And what I never wanted to do was to say, okay, I'm gonna use Patreon because it's easy to set up and I could give a little bit more exclusive access to those people and then I could have a tier of $1 a month, $3 a month, $5 a month, and these people can kind of tip and then I'll be beholden to them to provide the content that they're contributing to. For one, I don't have large enough channels to have that kind of scale to make it worth it. It doesn't work with that business model. My small channels and my small niches work because they are very targeted and they're going after specific types of people who are looking for this exact kind of content. You look at my Preaching Donkey brand, I'm going after preachers, pastors who preach and who want to communicate better, who are open to coaching and open to coaching for me. That's my target. Well, I am providing them the best training materials on how to communicate and deliver messages better than anybody else out there, if I do say so myself. <laughs> and so I do not want to communicate any thing to those people that says, this is only worth a dollar a month. It's only worth $3 a month. It's actually worth way more than that. I would much rather give away tons of content for free on YouTube, my podcast, give away the content for free that proves my value, that markets my content. And I consider this, I consider content marketing. This is how I get my brand out. It's how I get my name out. It's how I'm able to target the kind of people who want to learn from me. And rather than saying to those people, okay, now that you appreciate this content, tip me a little bit every month and I'll give you even more content. That's a hamster wheel that I don't wanna be on. What I would much rather do is say, if you enjoy this content, then come into my ecosystem. Get my lead magnet, in this case, over at Preaching Donkey, it's my 21-day guide. Here on this channel, it's the super simple guide, which I mentioned, that gets you onto my email list, and once you're on my email list, I can then offer you higher value products. So for the people who want to go further with me, the people who my content has proven my worth to them, and they say, wow, I really like this guy. He helped me start my business on Kajabi and he's helping me grow my business. I wonder what else he offers. Or I really like this guy. He's helped me learn how to write better sermons and deliver them with more confidence. I wonder what else he offers. They get into my ecosystem and through my email marketing on Kajabi, I'm able to take them through my sales process to offer them even more value. Not in exchange for a tip every month, but in exchange for actual dollars because what I'm giving is valuable. So I would argue in this type of business, in a business where you are selling your knowledge and expertise, you're not merely an artist, though there is a creative element to this, but you are selling value and you're providing transformative content and access to you and you've proven your worth with your content and people know you, like you, and trust you. If all of that adds up, then why not, instead of Patreon, if you want the recurring revenue, start a membership site. You can easily do it with Kajabi. Start a membership site, and instead of charging $3 a month, charge $30 a month, and you would be surprised how many people will pay that 30 bucks a month because they want access to you. Maybe you do a live Q&A once a month. Maybe you do a masterclass each month where you help people kind of tackle one specific thing. I had this model for a while over at Preaching Donkey. I canceled it for a few reasons. In fact, I have a video on this channel as to why I got rid of the membership site, but I would still choose a membership site over a Patreon model any day of the week. The reason why I don't like a membership model is because it's the same reason why I don't want to be on Patreon. It's the same reason why I don't want to have a membership site, at least for now, is I didn't like the commitment. I didn't like having to show up at a certain time and do a certain thing. I worked really hard to not have a job or a boss. I have neither <laughs> at this point in my life, and I felt like I was inviting that in. Now, the question comes, if you don't have a membership site and you don't have Patreon, then how do you solve this problem of recurring revenue? Because everybody who's in this type of business wants recurring revenue. All of us want to know that every single month we're gonna have X amount of dollars coming in, no matter how many courses we sell, no matter how many coaching sessions we do, no matter how many consults we do, no matter how much our YouTubes earn ads, we want to know that we've got a baseline. Well, the best way to do that is to find someone else's recurring product and promote that and get an affiliate commission. So 
I've done this with Kajabi, where Kajabi is a software that helps, that is a all-in-one complete solution for online business. It's a wonderful piece of software that I personally use for both of my businesses. If you want to start a free trial, 30-day free trial, go to lanesebring.com slash Kajabi, shameless plug, but it's awesome. It's a great piece of software. Now, here's the benefit of that. I can get people onto Kajabi, they're Kajabi's customer, and as long as they're Kajabi's customer, I get a percentage of whatever they pay Kajabi through affiliate commissions. So they're happy because they're on the best all-in-one online business platform there is. Kajabi's happy because they got a customer that they may not have otherwise gotten, and I'm happy because every month some money shows up in my bank account that I don't have to work for anymore because I got the person on there. Every niche has affiliate products, every one of them. So over at Preaching Donkey, I'm repeating this process with a tool that is a set of resources. It's not a software, but it's a set of resources and it's a recurring revenue model where they pay for resources every month. It's essentially a membership site that's very similar to what I teach, but not directly competing with it. So I reached out to that company. I said, hey, I'd like to be one of your affiliates. They said, great we'll give you 50% recurring lifetime. So in 2023, I'm gonna go after that to try to get people onto that platform because it's good, it will really suit their needs and meet their needs in a way that I can't in that area. It's great for the company because they'll access customers that they may not have accessed. And it's great for me because every month money will show up in my bank account. So what happens is, is I don't have to have a membership site and I don't have to have Patreon. I can promote other people's products, let them deal with all the headache of failed payments and people canceling and churn and everything else. I focus just on promoting it, getting people over there, showing them how great it is, and then letting them have a great experience. And if they stay, I keep getting paid. If it's not a great fit and they leave, then you know the money the money ends, and but there's always more people to, to come. So between the affiliate commission that's ongoing, course sales, ad revenue, it all adds up to be an amazing living. And I don't have to have Patreon and rely on people's tips. That's where I land. And I don't mean to disparage it by calling it tips, but for this type of business, you don't want tips and donations and contributions. You don't want people to feel like they're giving to you to support you. What you want is to provide value that's so undeniably valuable that they'll pay for it. That's what you're after if you're in this type of business. At least that's what I've done. I would love to hear from you in the comments below. Be sure to go to lanesebring.com slash super simple to pick up your free guide and check out this playlist right here where I actually talk about my email marketing on Kajabi and how to do it. So if you're into this type of thing, click right there and I'll show you exactly how all of this works.